You've either waited for it or you dreaded it. Either way, you're going to get it. Too bad. Roll down your windows on the freeway. Take the uh, earbuds out of your phone on the subway because it's uh, that exciting time of the morning. Every week we do this now, uh, much to my delight and the delight of our producer, Corey Parson. Here we go because uh, you know, the ladies demand it and the throngs of people demand it. It is sweeping the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, Sussmania! of Sussmania here on the Fantasy Sports Network, Sirius XM, Fantasy Sports Radio. The champ is here on a Tuesday morning, November 10th, the 10th for Week 10 Waiver Wire. Let's do it. We start at a running back position. We love you too. We love you too. You say I still got it. I never lost it, baby. Oh yeah, that, look at that pop right there. The ladies love it. Look them. at that pop. That's a cheap pop. The number one running back you gotta pick up this week. The number one guy. He's a star. No, he's a Stark! Never forget Ned Stark, but this is James Starks, his younger brother! We the North pick up James Starks because Eddie Lacy, not only is he a bust, not, not only is he out of shape, he's fat! And he stinks! And he's benched! Pick up James Starks, who looked better all week in week number nine! You know, the one thing better, gentlemen, than a Carlos with a C, do you know what it is? It's a Carlos with a K! Special K, Carlos Williams. He's played five games in his career. Do you know how many games he scored touchdowns in? All five! One, two, three, four, five! You can't see me! Five touchdowns! In five, no, more than five touchdowns. Five games with a touchdown. He's the champ. And then you get to New England. I said earlier in the program, I don't want anything to do with this. But Stone Cold does. You need running backs. I talk during the break. I go, Corey, I don't want to deal with James White. I don't want to deal with Brandon Bolden. Help me, Corey. What do I do? He says, spend all of it. Spend everything you got on James White. He's the guy. So when Travaris Cadet gets signed today, <laughs> make sure you own James White. Brandon Bolden, James White tied for third and fourth in the waiver wire Sussmania rankings because I have no idea who to tell you to pick up. Number five from Jim Bob Coder's offense. How you doing, Bob? I'm doing damn well, boy. From Jim Bob Coder's offense, Jim Bob Coder says Theo Riddick is the best. So you better make sure you own Theo Riddick. And you know what we're going to do because it's week 10 and we're doing this on the 10th? We're going to give you a sixth. The sixth guy. A six pack. It's six from the NWO. Number six this week. We have no idea how badly Carlos Hyde is hurt. We have no idea this guy's actually good. But I can tell you that Sean Drone played like 45 snaps. 45, one, two, three, four, five, times plus 40. 
Sean Drone on a buy this week. You can get him cheap because he's on a buy. Make sure you do it. Sean Drone, 45 snaps this week. Scotty, are you ready for the wide receivers? Yes, I am. You have a book next to you. I'd like to hold that book, please. Please tell people. What, I will what tell them. Give it the plug. Yes. Don't worry. Yes. I'm all about cheap pops here. The wide receivers. Is, is football fixed? No. Well, maybe. But is wrestling fixed, folks? No. You're going to have to read Bill After's book, Scotty's uncle, to find out. Is wrestling fixed? Sponsored by Susmania. We'll read it and get back to you. Anyway, the number one wide receiver this week was the same guy that was the number one wide receiver last week. It's Kamar Clay Aiken. Why? Because Joe Flacco has to throw the ball to somebody. And why not Kamar Aiken? Number two this week, we go back to New England because, well, we like killing ourselves. So that means we'll go with Brandon LaFell, the New England Patriots. The targets are there. The receptions are there. We spoke about before what Deion Lewis's injury could do. Well, it may open up targets for Danny Amendola, who's not in Susmania this week. But it also will give Brandon LaFell more opportunities, too, because New England will try to go down the field. Speaking of going down a field, it's that time where we go on and on and on about Nasty Nate. Because all this guy does is catch passes. All this guy does is catch touchdowns. Nate Washington, you're still on Susmania. The crowd wants Nate. Give it to them. All right. Let's bring it down. I think Corey wants Nate. Let's bring it down. You know, this is the opportunity, as everybody knows, you know who my favorite player in the NFL is, gentlemen, outside Eli Manning? Who is it? It is Stephon Dix from the damn right, the University of Maryland. The University of Maryland. But he's not on Susmania this week because everybody owns him now because they listen to us. But my other favorite wide receiver in the NFL plays for the New York Giants, naturally. And his name is... Odell Beckham. And he's got a cousin from another mother. And that's the man everybody in fantasy football has been waiting for. Everybody has waited for this man to rise from the dead and feel alive. Doriel Green Beckham led his team in targets. He finally got an opportunity and all it took was a new head coach, his old quarterback back, an injury to Kendall Wright. But finally, by God, finally, DGB is fantasy relevant. We spoke before about Stone Cold Steve Austin. What about Stone Cold Tavon Austin? All he does is score. They try and try. We talked about Wes Walker before, but you got Stone Cold Tavon Austin. No relation to Stone Cold Miles Austin. But Tavon Austin is worth a pickup this week. But because it's week 10 on the 10th, we got to give you a sixth, specifically for keeper leagues. He caught a touchdown this past week. Everybody's excited about him. But did you know that he only ran nine routes? Did you know that he's still running as the fourth wide receiver? Did you know that Ted Ginn Jr. and Jericho Cotchery and Corey Brown are still in front of him? As much as I want to pick up Devin Funches, I can't do it. But Devin Funches, number six, but don't pick him up. You, you can't do it. And then we get to the tight end position. Scotty mentioned that Dennis Pitt of practicing again. So we will not recommend Crockett Gilmore as much as we want to. I just want to say Crockett Gilmore. One more time. Crockett Gilmore. The number one tight end pickup of the week, as Pat Mayo says in his rankings this week, 
I have no idea about the tight ends. He says, let me give you, let me give you the quote on it, because I don't want to misquote my buddy. Screw it! It's a bunch of crappy options at tight end. So we gotta gamble. And why not gamble on the fir former first round pick in a brand new offense with who is the offensive coordinator? Jim Bob Coder! We're going back to Coder! And going back to Eric Ebron. Number two this week, Corey said during the break, I ain't ever owning this guy again because he hurts. That's right, it's Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz at tight end because they're not fun points. They're gross and ugly as Jennifer Millman says, but they're there, they're there. The revenge game last week wasn't so great for Chuck Clay, but facing a Jets team that is banged up. Scott said, who cares about Deion Bailey being injured? Well, you know who cares? Charles Clay cares! Because Charles Clay is gonna run wild on Thursday night. And then you get to Tampa Bay. And I have no idea. I like Mick Foley's music for the first time on, on the Road to Experts. <laughs> Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we have never no idea if this guy's going to play again. But Mike Evans had about 25 targets with 18 drops, which means Austin oh, Safarian Jenkins is someone you're going to want to own once he plays. Number five this week, Richard Rodgers, because he catches touchdowns. We don't have a lot of tight ends that catch touchdowns. Richard Rodgers is one of them. So he's number five, and because it's a 10, week 10, on the 10th, that means we give you the six pack. And that means, once again, we give you somebody on a bye. And who's on a bye this week? Who's been helpful all year? Who said Peyton Manning? Was, who said Peyton Manning made me? Not Jacob Tanny. Matt Ryan made me. And Matt Ryan with Leonard Hankerson out says, I don't care about my old buddy, Roddy White. I don't care that he's a host of the Sirius XM Fantasy Channel. I don't care about them. You should listen. I don't care. I care about Jacob Tammy, who has become the second wide receiver, essentially, in this offense. He's going to be dropped this week because he's on a bye. And as we know, when we follow hamstring injuries, these soft tissue injuries, Leonard Hankerson may not be back after the bye. Which means Jacob Tammy will still be fantasy relevant. The champ was here, and now the champ is out. Susmania.